I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili baby back rib. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs>I'm excited about cooking these today. I grew up in the South, so I definitely grew up on baby backs. Um, if you compete at Memphis in May, this is one of the three pork options that you can cook. Uh, they're known as loin back ribs. You can see this extra loin meat across the top or baby backs. Uh, we actually placed seventh in the world last year on baby backs, so these are near and dear to my heart. Well, let's get going on them. I'm gonna put a glove on and we're gonna put a binder on. I'm gonna use some yellow mustard to act as a binder and then we're gonna season them up. And shout out to Casio for the new fancy G-Shock here for this video. So yellow mustard just acts as a binder. This will not affect the flavor profile in any way. So if you don't like mustard, don't get too nervous. It just helps the rub stick to the ribs. You can use other things like oil or you can use nothing at all. You guys have seen me cook enough barbecue that you know that I don't always use a binder. But I frequently use it on my pork uh, just because I grew up on that in the south. So kind of something that we always did. Gonna slather it in there. Now we're going to start here on the bone side. We've already peeled the membrane off of these ribs. In order to keep the video a little shorter, I'm not gonna pull that for you on camera, but I just used a dry paper towel, grabbed right here, peeled it off. Uh, that helps um, the seasoning penetrate in the back of the ribs, and it's a better bite when you go to eat the ribs and they're cooked. First things first, we're gonna go with a base layer of our fajita seasoning. It's a salty rub, but it is a great base layer on ribs. I would normally let this sit for about 15 minutes since we're making a video, I'm gonna kinda of pat it in with my hand, go on to the next rub, flip it and repeat the process and then I'll let that stick. Today we're going with our honey bacon as our primary rub. Honey is a great complimentary flavor in barbecue and the bacon component, I mean, nobody's being mad about a little bacon on bacon action here. So this is a heavy application. Don't worry, you're not gonna over season it. I really don't want to see any of the ribs left when I'm done with that one. Pat that in with this hand. Like I said, normally give this at least 10 minutes or so to adhere. But for today's sake, let's flip and go over to this side. It'll be a little bit easier for y'all to see. All right, base layer of fajita again. Get some back here on the back, back side. All right, heavy honey bacon. This is the star of the show today. By the way, this stuff is amazing on popcorn as well, but it's really good on all sorts of pork. My kids really love it. They're definitely gonna eat these ribs today. So this will be a treat. Y'all can see that's, that's pretty liberal. Like I said, we're gonna let this uh, seasoning adhere. So the salt in the rub will pull the moisture out of the meat and they'll appear really wet in about 15 minutes. So while that is going, I've got some more racks here behind me. I'm gonna season those, and then after they've all adhered, we're gonna go to the smoker. You can see our seasoning is adhered. These ribs are nice and wet, so I'm ready to put them on the smoker. Uh, today, we're gonna be cooking on a Traeger Timberline 1300. I'm running at 275 degrees with hickory, but you can replicate this on whatever type of smoker you have. I'm gonna set these in meat side up. go. These are going to cook between two and two and a half hours in the first stage of the cook before we wrap them. I'll spritz them one or two times with cider vinegar. We're going to be looking for color and we'll see you guys back at the wrap. 
All right, guys, these baby backs have been cooking right at two and a half hours at 275. I spritzed them one time during the cook, an hour and a half in, I spritzed them with cider vinegar. They look really pretty. You got this beautiful color already, so it's time to wrap. And, you know, I always say we wrap for a couple reasons. One is you want to protect this gorgeous color, and two, if you wrap with aluminum foil, you can put stuff in the wrap. And so today we're going with something I'm kind of known for, and it's pretty popular in competition barbecue. We're going to go with a mix of just a, a small handful of brown sugar. We're going to make a little bed right here. We'll make a bed for these ribs to lay in and rest for the next couple hours. So that's just like a small handful. And then we're going to lay down a couple beads of butter. Today I'm going to use parquet, and this is kind of funny. Um, I say that good food starts with good ingredients. My last rib video, you saw me using pats of really good butter. Well, I'll tell you, parquet is extremely common in competition barbecue, but use whatever butter you want to use. Sometimes we'll use like a fancy European butter. And I'm going to pour a heavy bead of my buddy Craig Sherry's Texas Pepper Jelly Rib Candy. This is apple and brown sugar habanero. We're also going to put this in our glaze. He makes lots of flavors that are really good. This is like a liquefied pepper jelly. Put a heavy bead of that in there. It's going to give us a little bit of a sweet heat. And I'm gonna lay these ribs meat down in that goodness. Now some people come back across this and do that again. We're not gonna go that far. I don't wanna go too crazy with these. And I'm double wrapping this, two pieces of foil. The reason you double wrap is it's really easy um, for ribs to get hung up on the grate. And if you rip, rip that foil, all that liquid you put in there, all that goodness is gonna, is gonna run out. So we're just gonna go double wrap. We're gonna go back in the smoker, meat side down, for maybe two hours until those bones are poking out about a quarter inch, at which point we're gonna know they're done. We're looking for 203, 205 degrees internal temperature. I'm gonna put these back in the Traeger, and I'm gonna get these other ribs done, and I'll see you guys back here in a couple hours. All right, guys, it's been about another hour and a half in the wrap. And I've been checking the temperature with my instant read thermometer and they're 203, 204, 205, the various different racks. So they're ready to go to be sauced. So we've made a sauce here. We've used uh, Meat Minch's Womp Sauce and we've added um, some more of the apple and brown sugar rib candy. You can see we've almost used the entire bottle between the bead we put in each wrap uh, plus the rest we put in the sauce. You're just gonna add that to your favorite sauce to taste. This is a good combo that I like. So let's see how the ribs are looking. Oh yeah, really pretty. I mean, these look great as is. You could put this rack uh, back on and kind of tack that up and eat them as is, but we heated up some of this sauce. We're gonna paint these, and then we're gonna put them back in the Traeger for 10 minutes max to tack it up. And then we are gonna eat. So this is a really pretty pretty glaze. It's a great sauce, and then when you thin out with that uh, Texas pepper jelly rib candy, it really becomes more of a glaze, so you get a really beautiful looking rib. Not real thick and gloopy. And after about 10 minutes back in the cooker, uh, they're gonna be just right. So we're gonna finish this one up. I'm gonna put it in the Traeger and I'm gonna keep working on the other three and I'll see y'all back here in a few minutes. It's been 10 minutes, let's pull these ribs. Man, they look like a show car. Beautiful. We have to let these cool off because I got to take a bite for you. So sit tight and we'll eat them here in just a second. All right, guys, I can't wait any longer. These things look gorgeous. Give them the old accordion test. Man, they look good. If you were serving these at Memphis in May, you would have to break them open like that. You can kind of see the, the loin meat there. 
but anyway, we could also just kind of slice them. Let's take a look at that rib. Man, <clears throat> look at that smoke. Man, they smell awesome. Can't wait any longer. I'm gonna shut up and eat. Oh yeah, that's perfectly cooked right there. I wanna be able to bite through it like that and not make it completely fall off the bone. See uh, kind of where your where your teeth were. I wipe my mouth. We're making these saucy. And that's how I like them. And you know what they say pairs well with perfectly cooked baby back ribs. I ain't mad at it. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, if you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe to our channel. This was part seven of our hardcore barbecue series, so be sure to check out all the previous parts. And hey, there's a couple more coming after this. We'll see y'all next time.